In this video, we'll see how to convert a PowerPoint file into a video file. So if you see on the screen, I have multiple slides. If you see, there are multiple slides which I've created. Now, what I've done is I've added some, done some uh, designing or you can say transition on every slide. I've added some sound. So let me first try to explain you. Very first slide, I have added a sound here and I've asked him to play across all the slides when I go for a presentation mode. Second thing is for every slide in the transaction tab, if you see, I have added the duration, that means I've added some transition and also I have set as advanced click automatically. That means when it comes in the full screen mode, I do not have to mouse click. It automatically goes to next screen after three seconds. So this is some setting which I've done. Now I'll show you the slideshow mode. So I'll go to the slideshow and I'll click on this from beginning. So this is the slideshow which I've made. Now every time when I want to show it to some customer or some, some person in the class, so what I have to do is every time I have to go to the slideshow tab, click on slideshow, that means I should have a PowerPoint software. So why not convert this into a video file? So it will reduce my work. So I'll just click on this play one time, automatically it will keep on going in this place. So how do I convert a PowerPoint file into a video file? It's very simple, please follow this. I'll go to this file, say as save as, now it will ask you the location. I'll say I want to save in this 5th August. I have this MS PowerPoint. Now in this place, I'll just convert and I'll name the file as sample video 4, sample video 3, sample video 3 and save as type. Do not save as type as PowerPoint presentation, but save it as some other type. So I'll select here as this one, Windows Media, Windows Media Video. So I'll select this Windows Media Video and I'll click on save. So once I click on save, a sample video 3 file will be created there. It will not open automatically. So I'll click on save, right? Now I'll go to that place and just check sample video 3 file is already generated or not. But uh, let me see. But let me see. If you see here carefully, this is creating the sample video. It will take time because it has a sound. It has, it has been converting some transition and now it will take time to convert into a video file. Now remember the extension of the file which you save will be WMV format. So this will be only working in that format. So after once it is converted, you can convert into some other format and you can use it. Meanwhile, it, uh, it converts. I'll just try to tell you this what I've converted into a video file same way you can convert into a pdf file you can convert into different images file like jpg like uh, gif and so on the same process for conversion you can go to the file save as and i can select this folder meanwhile it gets saved so you see there are different types of one is for the pdf right pdf file you can convert normal powerpoint presentation is there but sometimes if you write a macro coding part you can use the second option that is PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. Similarly, if you see there is one more that is PowerPoint show. What is exactly PowerPoint show is? It is a non editable PowerPoint presentation. So no person can edit your PowerPoint. They can only see in the presentation board. The next one, if you see, I was talking about the images. So if you see here, that is GIF graphics interchange, uh, interchange format, JPJ, then I have the PNG and so on. So these are total four formats which you can convert. And uh, as per your requirement, you can use it. So I'll just click on <coughs> cancel and I'll go back to this place. Meanwhile, let's see, it's still converting, creating sample video file three. Let me show you whether it is converting there or not. So I'll go back to that folder. So I'll go back and open that folder. That is the MS PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you see, there's a sample video three file, which is created. If I try to open, what is the message I'll get? If I try to open, yeah, if I try to open, the window will open, but it will say error message okay, that this file cannot be open. Let's see what is the message. Can't play. We can't get to the file for this item. Make sure that another app 
isn't using it. So Microsoft PowerPoint app is using this video file to convert it. So it has not been converted completely. So I'll just say yes, that you can access the location where the file is stored and that your network proxy settings are correct. Then try again. So I'll click on close and click on close. I know what is the reason because in the PowerPoint still it is getting converted. So I'll go and open the PowerPoint. Right. So still it will take time, let's say 10 more seconds to convert it. So, and what I've done is these are the movie stars of Bollywood and uh, this is Jackie Chan, uh, the other actress, the Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, these are different actors in the Bollywood which have created a PowerPoint presentation here. So once it converts into a, a video file, it makes easy to understand. Like you, do, you just have to click on this play button and the video file keeps on going. So makes better rather than using the PowerPoint downloading installation. You can just send a PowerPoint via any Google Drive via some other place also. Yeah. So now if you see that is converted into a video file, let me go back to the same place. Yeah, I've come back to the same place. Now if you see that's a sample video three file. Now if I just double click on that file earlier, I was getting a message now. So this is the video file which is converted. So I hope you have understood how to convert a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation into a video file. That's all for this video.